Hi everyone, this is Kellerin from Kellerin Bento and welcome to my messy living room. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you a little food art thingy that I came up with as a complete improvisation. I knew I wanted to film a video, I knew I needed some cute in my life, yet it was super rainy outside and I did not want to go out to buy any groceries. Since it was breakfast time and I was also super hungry, I decided to make toast which is how the idea of making a cute minion toast art came up in the end. So the characters don't look too much like minions in my opinion, but hey, the intention was here and I think they look pretty cute anyway, so just figured I'd show you how I made them. Anyways, I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. See you in the kitchen. So what I'm going to do first here is make the chocolate paste that we're going to use to paint on the toast. We're going to start with cocoa powder. For this recipe, you don't really need to measure anything. Then I'm going to add some coconut oil, some margarine, and a decent amount of maple syrup for sweetness. Again, adapt the quantities of each ingredient to your own liking. I made my paste super sweet, but you can also tone it down by keeping the maple syrup to the minimum. Freestyling like this not only lets you adapt the quantities according to your personal taste, but also invites you to experiment in the kitchen. And this is one of the biggest joys of cooking in my opinion. I have the most fun when I freestyle in the kitchen. It always brings me so much joy and satisfaction. Mix everything until you get a nice paste. Transfer it in a cute little container. It'll look nicer for the pictures. And if you're like me, lick the spoon and scrape the bowl with your fingers. No waste. This is more or less the design I went for. To make the minion heads, I decided to use bananas and to slice them in the shape of the different minions. So I have a more diagonal cut for the long minions and a perpendicular cut for the round one. See? Three shapes. And now it's time to draw. I started with a long minion. It's pretty self-explanatory from here. Just dip your painting utensil in the chocolate and start painting. I used a fork, but I guess it could also work with a toothpick or something like this. My trick here? Go very slow. First, I make an outline of the shape I want, and then I kind of fill it in with little, little tiny dots. Slowly but surely, you'll end up drawing on banana. The nice thing is, since the banana is very humid, if you make a mistake, you can easily scrape it off with a toothpick or the clean side of your fork. Once the first minion is drawn, pop it in the fridge while you're painting the others to let the chocolate set. And do the same with every minion. Anyways, I'm just going to speed it up a little and let you enjoy the music. The last minion head is a bit potato shaped, so I kind of squished the banana a little bit. Now, because this is minions on toast, let's toast the bread. Just place your minions on the slice of bread and draw the strands of hair directly on the toast.
that's it we're basically done now you can just make a cute little fruit salad to go with the rest of your nice breakfast this chocolate spread goes super well with fruits you can just dip them in the chocolate and it will be delicious and also this chocolate spread oh my goodness I just put a few ingredients that I had in my kitchen mixed them up together but it was so good I ended up eating the whole pot by myself making a second one eating half of it and then leaving the other half to my boyfriend because I really wanted him to try otherwise I would have eaten all of it Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Of course, you can take the same recipe, the same concept and use it for any design that you'd like. If you want to start with something more simple, maybe make little shapes like hearts and stars, write someone's names on it or a cute little message. Anyways, just be creative and have fun. If you like this video, you're very welcome to share it with someone who might like it as well. To like it, comment it, subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much, you guys, for your reactions. It always means the world to me. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!